So shame on you, Mr. Cuomo. So we have millions of taxpayer dollars already spent to construct the modern Mohawk Valley Psychiatric Center facilities that would be wasted if those facilities are now abandoned, which is similar to the Brigham Building on the corner of York and, and North Street. That, that building was several million dollars put into that building. They kept it open for a few years, then they closed it. What is it doing now since? It's been sitting there rotting. A beautiful, beautiful building in, 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 our, in our beautiful neighborhood that we have so much hope for. Sitting there rotting, just like other organizations, just like other businesses, other um, factories. They're closing. The Indian Corporation on, this, on the end of um, Lincoln Ave is now closing. Going to Rome. They have a million dollar package deal. Go to Rome. Yeah. So we're losing. Utah, guess, County is losing continuously, and we need to stop those sorts of things from happening. Qualified buyers want to purchase the, the Hutchings property. Syracuse, you know, the Cross University, um, the hospital is right across the street from the HPC. This is heavy. The HPC Center, <laughs> which is Hutchings Center. They want to buy their property. So unlike here. When nobody's buying the property, because the state's not putting it up for sale, which they promised to do, but they have the opportunity to have that, that property purchased and make and brought up to um, compliance and um, possibly something else go, go in there. Whereas without the building, it's going to sit there rough. There's no plan, which happens all too often. There's never a plan. People think, or the our government makes these rash decisions, and there's no plan to uh, back it up. There's no action. Um, we would propose, there's a, we would sustain the fragile Utica area economy, um, avoid the loss of 139 jobs from staff layoffs. So when we close on BPC, we're laying off 139 people. That's going to affect the families. Now what happened to those families with their mental health? Here they are taking care of patients. They already have caretakers on um, anxiety and stress. And now they have to deal with moving their families. So where are they going to go? What, what kind of job are they going to have? And they're going to worry about the patients that they care so much about. Those are their second families. Now we have to be concerned about the patients as well. Their human rights are violated. We had a meeting, a town hall meeting, at um, the Holy Trinity Church. We'll have another one coming up too. We'll go over that in a minute. But there were patients who came in there that own their own business, who've been to college, who are now married. They were taken care of by these people because they had such good, high quality care. And now they're being moved to Hutchings. There are several people from MVPC who have already jumped ship and went to Hutchings, worked there for a month, and left because of the poor care, because of the mistreatment, because of the lack of the code compliance there. So this is what we're dealing with here. It makes no common sense. And if nobody stands up or makes a riot, then nothing gets done, and then they just run over us like, oh, like you know, they bulldoze us. <coughs> they kick us to the side as if we're chased from wheat blowing in the wet, basically. Right? All right, so that's what the Mohawk Valley Psychiatric Center. We have three meetings coming up. We've got a beautiful Common Council meeting. Um, Common Council uh, Councilman at large, Jim Becca, is um, creating a resolution, which is tomorrow. Right? Tomorrow is uh, Wednesday. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. at City Hall um, to keep MVPC open. Then on um, next Monday, we're going to have a legislative town hall meeting, which I have been holding regularly so I can educate the public and then they can in turn give me informed uh, feedback so I can make a proper vote come Monday or come Wednesday at our board meeting. Well, at this legislative meeting, we're going to have another uh, meeting with all the MVPC uh, clients and uh, employees in the neighborhood, and we're calling the leaders to the table. Anthony Britt, uh, Assemblymember Dizzy, um, Senator Griffo, and, uh, and Governor Andrew Cuomo, OMH, um, uh, Michael Hogan. Yeah. So we're calling them to the table to give us some answers. Uh, then we have Wednesday at 2 p.m. at the county office building at the 10th Board Legislative Chamber. I'm creating a memorializing petition to keep